what it look like. This is what it look like. Don't that look yummy? I come back out to my car, y'all, and my car will not start up. <laughs> And instead of getting mad and catching the attitude, you know what I did? Is you cool? It's a motherfucking movie. One thing about it, two things for sure. Amber said he's gonna quit a job. I'm gonna quit. I don't care. Hey Lash Bays, hold on. Let me get this right. Okay. Hey Lash Bays, welcome back to my channel. If you're a turn subscriber, then hey. If not, go ahead, click the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Because if you're not Lash Bay, then who are you Lash by? Period. So y'all, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> today is a day. Today was a hell of a day, y'all. Let me tell y'all. So as the title of this video, you guys already know, I am doing a African food mukbang. This is my first time ever trying African food, and I'm so scared because if it's nasty, I'm gonna be so irritated. So, I got this from a place in St. Louis called House of Jollof or Jollof. I'm gonna say Jollof. So, House of Jollof. And what I ordered was, I, if I'm not saying this right, please forgive me, but I think it's pronounced the Gucci. Agutsi, Agutsi, I think it's I think it's pronounced Agutsi. I got the beef Agutsi with boiled egg, fufu, and I got mad spicy, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all how it look before I start telling my story. So this is the fufu. I sanitized my hands already, so, ooh. Why wow, I look like that? This is the fufu. Oh, this plastic, okay. I'm like, why is it like that? Okay, so this is the fufu. <laughs> yeah, I'm really finna be eating this. <laughs> this is the fufu. You supposed to like smack it before you eat it. So do I wanna do you smack it when it's out or do you smack it in this thing? I think you smack it when it's out. So I'm gonna wait. And then here's the Gucci. Y'all can't see it. Oh, uh, okay. This is the top on here. This is how I look. And then I'm finna I'm finna take the top off. I'm so hungry, y'all. I'm finna take the top off and they didn't even give me no napkins. What was they thinking? You know, after food, you gotta eat with your hands. <laughs> y'all, it smells good. I'm finna show y'all what it look like. This is what it look like. Don't that look yummy? Ooh. It looks good and it smells good. So I'm surprised, y'all. So before I eat this, I'm gonna put it up real quick because I don't gotta tell y'all this story real quick. So, like I said, y'all see the two boiled eggs. I got the a goose, the beef a goosey. I don't, I don't even eat red meat like that, but I do eat it if I feel like it. Like I'm not even gonna sit here and be like, oh, I stopped eating red meat a month ago. I never did. I eat me a red meat when I feel like it. Like sometimes if I feel like eating red uh, lamb chops, I'm gonna eat it. If I feel like eating pie roast, I'm gonna eat it. If I feel like eating steak, once I steak house, I'm gonna eat it. But y'all. So let me tell y'all a story. I'm going I'm on my way. First of all, today I had a long day. So let me tell y'all about my day. Cause y'all like to hear about my day. So I woke up today at 6 a.m. I went to my 7.30 a.m. class. I had classes all morning. And then I ran errands and stuff like that. I had to, you're probably looking at me crazy. I had to, um, what I had to do? My friend's son's birthday is today. So I had to pick up his gifts from Target. I ordered them yesterday um pick them up then i had to drop it off to her and after that i'm like oh i'm hungry i want some african food let me go get some african food i never had it i could do my african seafood mukbang for my youtube channel that'd be a good idea right <laughs> so i order my food y'all i go into the african food place i come back out to my car y'all and my car would not start up <laughs> y'all <laughs> i'm laughing it's not funny but it's funny because like oh my god it's just crazy like now my car is not working and i was just gonna give y'all an update about my whole work situation because if y'all watch my other video if y'all haven't go watch it i work at amazon 
and today's video is gonna be an update of how I work at Amazon and I'm gonna do my seafood mukbang, right? Never made it home to make it to make my seafood bang bang. I'm finna do it in the car because you know, like this YouTube life don't stop, you know? So I'm stay trying to turn my car over, turn my car over, turn my car over, and it is not turning over. I'm like, gee, never. So you know, so you know what I did? I called AAA. Or whatever, I have to triple A. I'm like, look, I need you to come to my car. Ooh, the whole time I'm being very calm. Cause when I panic, I just feel like there's no point of panicking. Like when you panic, like I've really learned one thing about me, I have really learned how to put things in God's hand and have self-control. Cause usually I will ask my best friend, I will have a fit about this car because I already hate the car. I will have a fit, but I'm chilling right now because you know what? It's in God's hand. I'm not going to let the devil get the energy. Like, today was supposed to be a productive day. I was supposed to do two sets of lashes, study for school, which I still am going to do. But the devil thinks just because my car broke down, oh, she's going to have an attitude. So, she's not going to want to do her lashes, practice her lash, uh, her lash sets that she was supposed to do today. She's not going to make her YouTube video because she's not going to have time. I'm going to make, I'm going to do this seafood, seafood, uh, I said seafood. <laughs> I'm going to do this African mukbang right here in the car. The content, the hard work, it don't stop because you have a, uh, a, a situation going on. And I'm in my car right now outside of the, uh, auto shop right now. And I'm not getting out the car right now. You know why? Because I want to make my YouTube video, period. Because I know, hold on. I'm not getting out the car right now because I want to make my YouTube video. And, and I know if I go in here right now and try to uh, get them to figure out what's wrong with my car and everything, my food going to get cold. And that's what the devil want me to do. The devil want me to stop what I'm doing, what I'm supposed to be doing, and take all of my energy out being, being mad. No, I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to be mad. I'm going to sit in here. I'm going to make my African seafood mug back. I'm going to still update y'all about my Amazon Amazon job. This place I'm close to six. And then when I'm done making my YouTube video, I will continue to deal with my car situation. I don't care. And the issue with my car is not turning over. So what happened was, while I was sitting outside of the African seafood, uh, why keep saying seafood? That's how you not got a problem. When I was sitting outside the African food place, I was on the phone with my best friend, and I was just sitting here, just thinking, and it just God came through, and it just turned over. After I called AAA, it just turned, it just turned over. So I called them like, you know, I want to cancel my order, I'm, uh, cancel my um, my tow, my towing. I'm just gonna drive to the nearest um car uh shop that i can go to and have it looked at and god god was looking out for me and he let me allow me to make it to the car place very safely i'm okay um without it stopping on me so that was a blessing and now i'm sitting here making my gonna make my african mukbang video and the devil did not stop me because usually I would get an attitude and I would start crying and I'll call my mama and I would have a hell attitude and then I would just go home and be so miserable because it's like I don't have my car. But I'm not gonna do that because that's not in my that's not that, that wasn't a part of my things to do for the day. You know? I have a whole y'all, my journal. I had a whole thing I had to do today. All the it's not highlighted. It's still stuff to do. And this is all studying stuff, which I could do at home and practice last. So I, I'm glad that God did allow me to handle all my errands early before my car stopped, which is fine. I could just Uber home and just study because all my last materials to practice and stuff is already at my house. So it is what it is. So today's video, other than, hold on. So today's a video, other than this car situation, like I'm just so tired of putting money into this car. This guy telling me that I need a new car. Like, and it's so funny because today I was gonna make a YouTube video about like how the Amazon job is going and how I want a new car for my birthday. I want a Benz. Is you cool? I want a Benz. And now my car's not working. Like, isn't that like such a coincidence, girl? It's so crazy. And instead of getting mad and catching the attitude, you know what I did? Is you cool? It was a gas station right behind, uh, right behind the um the African food place. I uh instantly took my key out the ignition, hopped down my car, never cared, and I went and I bought me two shooters. I don't care. Like I'm not gonna be tripping off stuff no more. I can't control the car. Don't turn over. It don't turn over. Like what am I gonna do about it? I'm gonna call AAA. But I needed a drink because I was irritated. Like no. So, got me um some two little Remy shots. And I'm finna make my uh, my African mukbang and tell y'all all about Amazon. So, give me a second because it has been a long day. And um I'm just happy that I'm at the car place safe. 
um and nobody rammed in the back of me because it could have like my car could have stopped at any moment while i was driving and somebody could have rammed in the back of me but god wanted me to make it here so i'm gonna toast to that Mm. Oh. oh shoot okay and i got me a little you know i don't drink pop but when i'm drinking alcohol i mean it's some water water okay so now we're gonna move on to amazon so time to do the african look man i really wish i was at a table but you know what we're gonna make it do what to do here is the stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna first take this off. It smells so good, y'all. But I'm so I'm still so scared. My bad. I'm still so scared. I wonder if I could do the smaller thing. Okay, so this is the Gucci. Y'all know I love eggs, so I hope it's busting like how the seafood be busting with the eggs. I hope it's busting like that. Here go the fufu, and I'm gonna just take it out. And I'm finna take it out of this thingy. It's so warm. It don't smell like nothing though. Like what is what what is fufu supposed to be? And I don't know if you're supposed to put the fufu in there, but I I think I be seeing that on TikTok. But I'm gonna smack it up first, and then I'm gonna put it in there. <laughs> smack it up. I already sanitized my hands before the video. So here's the fufu, and we're gonna. <laughs> oh my god, y'all! This is so funny. I don't know how many times you're supposed to smack it. I'm gonna smack it like five more times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, smacked it up. Now I'm gonna place it in the bowl. So here's the fufu. I'm gonna place it inside of here. I don't know if I'm supposed to do it like that, but this is how I'm gonna do it. Mush it around so it can look like this. Okay, so Amazon, Amazon <laughs> update. I'm so mad they did not give me no tissue. I think I got tissue on my car though. Yeah. I think I got. I don't think I got no tissue. That's gonna irritate me dead. And if this not gonna sit up right, then I'm gonna put it right here. Like I'm not gonna fight with this. This angle is skin booming anyways. So y'all, update on Amazon. So I got my first check, y'all. <laughs> so here is the poo poo. It don't smell like nothing. I'm so scared, y'all. I'm gonna dip it in there really good. Like that. Ooh, first little chunk. It's a motherfucking movie. It's a movie. Do you understand what I'm saying to you right now? Is you cool? Ah, this is a movie. Hold on. I'm not even gonna act like I'm gonna talk right now. Hold on. Let me get. I ain't eat all day, y'all. Let me get two more bites. Mm. Yum. Oh my gosh. This is really good. I need one more bite. Now I'm going to tell y'all about Amazon. I got a story for that man. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Mm. Yeah, this is so good. Woo. If you don't like smacking, chewing, burping, sipping, go to the next video. Because this is going to be a whole movie over here. This fat. Fat, 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 fat. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all about Amazon real quick. <laughs> so, as you guys know, I was working at Amazon. Hold on. Oh, pop. That's why I got water. I don't do pop. <clears throat> I was working at Amazon, right? And I got my first check. And I'm like, It's not gonna work for me. That's what I said. It's not gonna work for me. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna cap. It's not gonna work for me. 
um so it was yesterday or probably like around um eight o'clock at night and i was really in my hand i text my two best friends and one of my closest friends and i'm like you know what um I'm gonna pray real hard about this, but I don't think I don't think I wanna work there. Simple. I'm not even finna I'm gonna be very transparent with y'all. I'm not, I don't think I wanna work there no more. Like I just don't. The money versus the hours. it's not a bad job. I it's like when you on TikTok and you see everybody talk about how easy Amazon is and how you don't know how people keep quitting. Now that now that I under now that I work there, I understand why people quit. It's not a bad job. Don't get me wrong. Four hours, four days out the week, 10, 10 30 at night to 2 30 in the morning. It's not a bad job. It's not. I'm having that job right now. This is crazy. Okay. It is not. It's not a it's not a bad shift at all. You're not doing a, a bunch I, I wasn't doing a bunch of hard work, but it was just the 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 coming to, coming to self moment like Amber. You don't want to be here. You don't need to be here. And I didn't want to be there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? I'm finna quit. Because you know me, one thing about it, two things for sure. Amber said he's gonna quit a job. I'm gonna quit. I don't care. I'ma play with my savings. I'ma save up. No spending. I'm gonna work on myself, but I'ma quit a job. So um hold on, I need some more. This uh good good African food. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on. Mm. So I'm not, I don't want to work there no more. And it's not because it's too hard or it's too much. It was just, it's just simply because I have so much on my plate that I don't want to be so tired from working a job where I feel like I'm not perfecting my craft. My craft is half and always will be mastering lashes, running my business, and focusing on my chiropractic program. Simple. I'm in school. I don't need to be. I be feeling like I'm in school. I don't need to be trying to overwhelm myself with so much when I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I want to work a job because I feel like, you know, a little extra money is never too bad. But I have to think about it and I have to, I have to really think and, tap and tune into myself. Like, Amber, your mental health is more important and your health, period, is more important than you stressing yourself trying to work a job where you're not even down bad like you're not down bad like you're not you're not effed up you know what i'm saying like having extra money is always good but i would never want to put money over my well-being and i feel like working that job with school with shadowing with um everything else i have going on my social life my business my me trying to be a lash tech it was just to the point where and especially working that job that i didn't care to work at it was like I can let I can let this one thing go, period. So I did. I quit. I don't care. I quit. And they told me my hair was too long. Every, every anyway, they kept telling me I had to wear a bun, which was irritating because every time I lift it down and everything, my bun up all apart. I'm sitting there trying to put my bun together, but then they tracking you from like yo yo work from the little scanner thingy. So they're trying to make sure you consistently busy. It's just like it's it's too much. It's too it's too much. I don't care. I never care. Like. It's too much. Adios. I don't care. Never did. So, I quit. And you know how I know I'm not wrong? Because my mama said me. My mama told me. And I ain't wrong because once my mama say I'm not wrong, I'm not wrong. Period. And you know what? Because I'm very reasonable. I don't mind working a job. I don't. I don't mind. Until my business get lifted off the ground. I don't I don't mind it. But when I feel like that job is taking a toll out on me, that's when it becomes a problem. Because I'm going to always put me first. And that's period. And I'm going I'm to always put me first. I don't care what the situation is. I'm going to always put me first. And I'm going to always find a way to get to the bag. One thing about it, two things for sure. I never care. That's how I get to it. So, quit my job. Quit Amazon. I don't give no fuck. Like, bye adios i don't care no hard feelings or nothing i just don't want to work there and i don't got to i don't got to i ain't got to period i don't got to so that was that like and i text my friends and ask their opinion and you know my friends 
they gave me like words of wisdom you know notice i ain't say advice they gave me words of wisdom because you know pp i hope they didn't fly out y'all over y'all head they gave me some wisdom and my mother wisdom not advice wisdom and you know what once they they talk to me about it you know like it's important to have friends that are thinking on a higher level y'all be vibrating so low it's like damn think have people around you that are like mentally there them the one then the friends you listen to then the friends you listen to you listen to and they agree with everything I, i'm saying and you know what i think this is god telling me like Amber, i don't want you to do nothing else but go to school and work on your business and i think and i and i and i understand that assignment i understand yeah this is so good i understand that assignment he ain't gotta tell me twice i get it get it i for sure get it you know <laughs> so i think this is god just telling me like amber like you know you have been working 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 like all oh, really up until this point you've been working as much as you can you put in overtime you do what you need to do like you've been working so much like i am i want you to just work on your business and just going to school that's it that's all and that's what my mama said i'm supposed to be doing thumbnails i'm tweaking hold on Let me see if I can get one. <laughs> Y'all look slow. Hold on. That's cute. And I'm going to do some screenshots throughout the video. But I love being transparent with y'all because I feel like y'all understand me. And I feel like y'all finna watch this glow from y'all finna watch to go back and watch these videos. And when y'all see me being six figures, when y'all see me being a millionaire, y'all like, dang, I remember when she, when her car got messed up. <laughs> her car mess, got messed up. And she was making videos and mukbangs in her car because she was at the car shop, you know? So, uh, okay, Amber, you got your first G-Wagon. Like, I cannot wait for y'all to see that glow, like that grow on my YouTube channel. Like, a lot of people don't show the, the down and the bad. I, 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 that's one thing that makes me stand out from everybody. If, if, if somebody always asks me, People always ask me, like, what makes you different from everybody else? I show my down. I be seeing everybody so up, and I'm always rooting for them. It's always good to see winning. But I don't be seeing another pe enough people showing these moments. How do you come back? How, how do you bounce back from these moments when you feel like you're at your lowest? And this is what this where, this is where the grind is. This is where I want my viewers to understand. Like, when people... When people say, like, I came from the bottom up, I want y'all to visually see from videos, vlogs, all that, like, yeah, Amber used to be A, B, C, and D. Now she's da 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 Woo-woo. You know? Like, I want I want people to be able, able to say, like, Amber really came from that place, and she's grown into this so, so bossy, bougie, like, boss, rich bitch. You feel me? <laughs> like, I've seen her grow on YouTube, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's just, I just want to show y'all all the bad and all the good because it's like everybody experiences their weakness, their their downs, like, but they just don't show it. I don't care to show it because I feel like I don't care who judge me because y'all not paying me. You know what I'm saying? And y'all not God. Not trying to be smart. I'm not trying to come at y'all, but I'm just being honest. Like, I really don't care what nobody got to say about me because at the end of the day, when it comes to judgment day, the only person judging me is God. So I really don't get no fuck how y'all feel about me. I would show, I would show anybody and everybody the true me. I'm very transparent. I don't care. I'm a Gemini. I'm going I'm to let you know. You know? So I want to show y'all the down. So right now, like I'm saying, making sacrifices. It's hot in my car. I don't care. I'm outside the car dealership. But I'm still making my YouTube channel. And I'm doing my African food mukbang. It's about dedication. It don't stop. Any other person would have been check this car in and talk to them and woo and woo woo. woo. No, because I don't want my food to get cold. <laughs> no, I, if, this is my first time ever eating African food. I want to feel that whole vibe and experience. No, hold on. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is fat. Mm, 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 mm. Lord knows, this is fat. But yeah. 
And then my and then this happened to my car today. So what I think when I what I know I'm gonna do is you know, I'm gonna talk to God again tonight. But most likely what I'm gonna do is I may work like a bottle girl job on weekends. That's fine with me. And you know what? I don't mind working in clubs. Like that's why I used to work anyway. So clubs don't bother me because one, I'm listening to my mu I'm listening to the music. Two, I can wear nails, hair, however I want to. You know, three, I like interacting with people. Like I'm a really I'm really like how do I put this? I'm not really friendly, but I'm nice, but I'm also social. I don't think I'm an introvert. I don't get anxiety around people. I'm not an introvert. I don't mind branching off talking, but it's always on my time. So I don't mind interacting with people, you know, passing them my business card. You're gonna be in the club. You it's gonna be a, a lot of females, you know. Pass them uh pass I pass people out when I used to work at the club, I used to pass them out my business card. I don't care if you like me or not. You could just throw it away. But I'm not finna miss out on the opportunity. I know females are weird, but I'm not finna miss out on the opportunity. I don't care. Like you can throw my business card away if you want to, but I'm gonna give you, I'm still giving you one. Like, I don't care. I'm gonna work uh on the weekend as a bottle girl or a bartender because I have my bartending um license. Period. Don't play with me. And then um I'm gonna just perfect like y'all. When I tell y'all, mark my words right here. This gonna have to be what what number is this? Twenty six oh nine. I gotta put this in the um introduction. I am going to be the rawest lash tech. Period. Period. I don't want to talk. Rawest lash tech. Period. I'm telling y'all, mark my words. I'm going to be a cold. You feel me? I'm gonna be so cold, y'all. Mark my words, this grind is gonna be so personal. It's gonna be crazy. The grind is so personal. And my car, my car stopping and doing all this weird shit, it's not gonna stop me. I swear it's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna continue to practice every day. I'm gonna continue to go to school. I'm gonna ask my friends to go to school. Can you come pick me up before you go to school? Stay at the school. I'm gonna uh, get an Uber to go to my shop. Or I'm gonna ask my friends to come take me. I'm gonna do what I have to do, but I'm gonna get it done. And that's always, that's always. That's for sure. I'm not gonna let this be my downfall. I don't care about my car being broken down. Like I got other, I got other stuff to do. I got an exam on Monday. I'm not gonna be freaking out. I don't got time to be freaking out. Life too short to be freaking out and panicking about little stuff. I'm a lab and I'm breathing, and that's that's good enough for me. Let's try with the egg. Hmm. Okay. That's a game changer. I won't say it's as. I could say like with the egg, it's not as good as eggs is with seafood, but it's good. But with the sea, I ain't gonna lie, the egg with the seafood combination, it's a movie. Mm. That's good. Like I said, it's good. It's just not as good as it is with seafood, but it's good. <laughs> but um, yeah. This is a funny, funny, this is a funny story to have made it. <laughs> this is so funny. One thing about me, once I start eating the egg, I got to finish the whole egg. So, no, I'm not going to put it down. No, I'm not going to stop smacking. So, that's the answer to y'all questions. <laughs> yeah, I'm a whole bad. But, um, this is the last bite. Hold on. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. I'm about to pull. Woo, I'm full. But, yeah. I want to come on here. And it's so funny now. I'm filming this video on my car. This is where it's happening. I just want to come on here to let y'all know. Stop making excuses for yourself. Right now, I'm sitting in my car making an African food mug bang for my YouTube channel. With my car being broken down. I sat at the auto shop. And just shows you the determination and dedication. How driven I am. You know what I'm saying? Stop making excuses for yourself and start making ways. I want I want you to, I, I always tell my best friend this. I want you to count how many times you say I'm irritated in one day. Start counting. And you, like, people say I'm so irritated. I'm so annoyed. They say that. They claim that on their life so many times today. I'm surprised I ain't call my mama. My mama know I'm a crybaby. I would have been called my mama, y'all, and I would have started crying. And I would have been so irritated. And she knows she's gonna watch this video because she's always watching me. So she's gonna smile at that part. She knows that I call her every second of the day. I ain't even called her yet. 
because I don't even care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop this car off. Y'all know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Uber home. And I'm going to do my lashes and drink my little Remy shots. I don't, like, I'm not going to call. She called me that. I'm going to tell her. But I ain't putting no pressure behind it or nothing. I'm done. I'm done putting my energy into, into little stuff, material. I'm done putting my energy into that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to elevate. I'm trying to focus on a bigger picture. If, if my car broke down, and this is what I've been telling all my friends that I want a new car for my birthday. My car breaking down is only showing me that this car got about one more life in it. And it's not going to make it through the winter. So I don't even think it's going to make it through the winter. But I got one more life in it before it's OVA. But yeah, I feel like if I keep talking, I don't want my, um, my YouTube video will be too long and then I won't be able to upload it. So that'll be the end of the video. That's the takeaway message though. Um, things that work out at Amazon, but I'm gonna end up being a bottle girl. I'm just gonna attack the lashes and I'm gonna go crazy as a lash tech. I'm gonna be a raw lash tech. I'm gonna run on my money. You know, this is something, this is a passion I've been wanting to do and I just need to stick to it and be dedicated, be motivated to it, period. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm about to go see about my car because I'm done with my African food. It was good. Um, I'll definitely rate it a, like an 8 out of 10. It was good. This was, this was a good place. So an 8 out of 10 for me. That was my first time ever eating see, um, African food. If I say seafood, please just ignore it. But until then, catch up with you guys later. I'm about to go up in this car place see about this lame ass car. And bye lash babes. So this is the place I was eating at where I got my African food place before my car broke down. So definitely check it out if you're from st louis but yeah i don't know what's gonna happen with my car hopefully i get a new one because i'm not dealing with this car stuff no more like i'm over the car period